eyes like a cat. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Was he drunk? Yeah. Always knew the hooch would be his end. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. May I assist you? Need some armor. See ya. Ever heard of preventive arsenal? Gonna tell us where your coin is? Or you prepared to go Mars? Where's your gold? You can tell us willingly, or... No, please. We've none left. Sir, help us. Stay out of this. Leave them alone. What's it to you? Won't stand by and watch you rob and murder them. Plain refuse to. Got a sensitive one? Look away, woman. Still here. Oi! Get him! Die, out, fucker! I'll take care of that! 
You're gonna make me wait. Not good. You'll shut your trap if you want this to be done soon. The man needs to concentrate. <laughs> your orsons all! I said shut it! What are you looking at? Wanna be next for a thrashing? What's going on here? Sir! Me daughter, help us! My men need some diversion from time to time. They get jumpy elsewise. I can't let this happen. I won't. Figured it might end this way. Get him! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Nothing here for you. First the army's passed, then the pox, now the hunger.
Come on. Take it easy. The rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who do you want to use it on? He didn't say. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the Isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is... Listen, I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure.
Could you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikai once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. Are they hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. So where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the elven mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm. Thank you. Almost there. Splendid! 
I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox, can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful.
wonder what killed them. Doesn't look like the work of necrophages. your nerve. Let's try Kira's lamp. They're on to us! They're not letting Graham in! Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> We've no notion we he's coming to tear him to shreds. Way's clear, lads! Adam!
Millie, we've got to flee. Quick now. Millie. M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So up. Uh, burn it. Ah. What? No. No, stay back. Don't leave me. The place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on them. Lord Geralt, stop. You needn't be so detailed. Essence didn't come here to ask nicely. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! I'll ever understand him. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let him out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave him there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for him. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench!
Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. dead any good now, will it? Stranger is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly.
like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the rule's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What happened then? Fear. Terrible fear. I feared the men who approached, but I also feared the potion drinking it. Didn't trust the mage. In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms. 
tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but... Who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled, and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the Isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, 
That's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone finally take pity on me. <laughs>